Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope everyone out there is having a great day. My name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to spend it with me. This video is only going to be a few minutes long, but today's topic is going to be part seven to the Azure Sentinel series, where I'm going to talk to you about Content Hub and data connectors. So you have Content Hub and you also have data connectors. So the data connectors are the ones that you have connected to your Sentinel instance. But those in that section of um, Azure, you're going to see stuff that's Microsoft related. Uh, your content HUD is going to show you everything from third party solutions as well. They switched it up a little bit. Everything is where you where you're getting all your data connectors, I would say, is in the content hub. And in the data connector screen screen shows you everything that's Microsoft related. So you can uh, see it that way. And it will probably make more sense as I as I walk through it when we get to the Azure portal. All right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to install connectors from Content Hub. And what I'm going to do, the two uh, solutions I'm going to install is Azure Active Directory and then also Azure Activity. Okay, so over here we are at the Azure portal. And as you can see, we have data connectors. And if you like come here, there's zero connectors, zero connected. So we need to come to Content Hub. And in Content Hub is where we're going to find these two different solutions. So right now you see there's 316 solutions, uh, the standalone content. I have zero installed, zero updated here. Uh, I can change the way this looks. I can do it in this kind of, you know, uh, different view here. I forgot what this is kind of called, um, but, uh, or I could go to the list view. So I'm gonna go to the list view and I'm actually gonna filter it out. So there's a couple of things you can do. So I can filter it out based on provider and that's this section here. Right. And I can just say, all right, so I want to filter out by provider and I can look for the provider. I want to filter out and I'm just going to type in Microsoft and I'll click apply. So now what this is showing me is all of Microsoft um, connectors that I can uh, set up in my environment. So I said to you, I want to do Azure Active Directory. So I'm going to click on that one. And the next one I want to do, you know, I can do Defender. I'll throw that in there as well. But I did say Azure Activity, right? And this is it right here. So let me stay with what I said in the video. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to click install. Now, I know I've done it one by one, but I'm just going to test it out and see if it'll do two at the same time, which it gave me the install. So I'm pretty sure it will. And then when I come over here to Data Connectors, they should populate in this screen. Okay, so we have 365 Defender installed. So let me go back. I'll type in Microsoft. Let me type Azure Active. All right, so let me click here and I'll click install. Install in one item. And then I'll click here. It's not giving me the install, so let me come back over here. Azure Active Directory, so that's good. So I got an error message, I'm not sure what that is, but right now it's telling me I have two. So let me see, let me type in activity, Azure Activity, and I'll click install here as well. And let's see what happens. So one thing I want to point out as well is that it says it's free. So pricing is free. So it says solutions are Azure app type marketplace offers and free to install. The underlying resources created may have billing associated uh, to consumption of usage. So there is something that is stated on the Microsoft Sentinel page and it talks about Azure activity and how that pricing goes. Okay, so as I mentioned before, there are certain free data sources. So I wanted to point that out in this video. The following data sources are free with Microsoft Sentinel. So we have Azure Activity Logs, Office 365 Audit Logs, Security Alerts uh, in Defender, and we have Defender for Cloud and Microsoft Defender for Cloud App Alerts. 
But I want to state that although alerts are free, the raw logs for some Microsoft 365, Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Entre ID, and Azure Information Protection data types are paid. So it really depends on how much logs that you're going to be ingesting. So when it comes to the data connectors within your Azure Sentinel, it's very important for you to think about, okay, how much data am I going to be ingesting with this specific resource, whether it's an Azure activity, whether it's um, uh, any other of the connectors here. Uh, so what do we have so far? Azure Active Directory, Microsoft 365, uh, Defender and I'm waiting for activity. There it goes. Azure Activity to come up. All right. So Azure Activity is now showing up, but we still are seeing three connectors, but zero connected. So what I'm going to do is I need to click here and I need to open up connector page. And I need to let Sentinel know exactly what I want ingested. So I can do sign in logs, uh, connect Azure Active Directory logs to Sentinel, and I could send audit logs there as well. And I can send a couple other things. So I'm just going to do those two. And I'm gonna click apply to so Azure Active uh, uh, Azure Activity. I'm open connector, and what we need to do is we need to scroll down here to the bottom, which is Launch Azure Policy Assignment Wizard, and we need to stream it. So um, what we're gonna do is gonna do a scope, and you can choose a resource group, but we'll just do the whole scope. Then we click next. We just go through this primary log Alex workspace. We'll do Sentinel workspace and we create a remediation task. And then we'll create. All right. So now we have two connected. We have three connectors, but two connected. I'm actually going to remove this one because we don't really need it. I just wanted to show you how to install. And that was pretty much it. But I do want you to know that it did take a little while for this to show up as connected. So if you're going and following through this video and you're seeing that your Azure Active Directory isn't going through or your Azure Activity isn't going through correctly, don't be alarmed by it. It does take a little while for it to actually show up. One thing I want to point out is when the Azure Active Directory, you need to have a P1 or P2 license in order for this to go through. Um, I did see online that some individuals were having issues with this um, same setup. And what they did is they forced it. So essentially what they did is they went into Microsoft on uh, Entra, uh, old Active Directory. Where am I here? So let's go into Entra ID. And what they did was they went to diagnostic settings and they created a diagnostic settings and forced everything to their log analytics workspace through here. So that is something else that you can do. I haven't done it myself, um, but it was shown here. So you see, this is another, uh, this is an old uh, tab that I had open that's still showing that's connected, but if I refresh it, it's going to show that it's two that are connected right now. So that is something that you can go through. So if you are, it does take a little while, sometimes it's like 10 minutes for it to go through. Um, when I was going through this video, I actually thought, I'm okay, did I miss a step? Am I doing something wrong? But it does take a little while. This one took a little while longer than my other tenant. I have another tenant that I did the same setup with uh, for a client, and it did take a little while longer for some reason on this end, but hey, it's working and we're all good. So I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Um, as always, please, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Kieran Tross, and I'm here, um, and my main goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant, and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you, and see you next time.